Hello, this patch started with me wanting to try out the new VCV drums modules. You can see them here, rim, kick, clap. They sound like this. Pretty cool. The rim and kick are going straight to the mixer, obviously with some knobs twiddled. The clap goes through a filter and some reverb just to give it a bit of space. Quite like these modules. It's really handy just to have some well, basically a drum rack, easily available. Very cool. I think I'm gonna keep using Tremor 2 for most of my kicks and hats because I know how to use it and I like the sounds I can get out of it. But for just other bits and pieces, this seems like I might use it. So that's pretty cool. Made a bit of a patch out of it. First thing, then we have a bit of a drone. This actually started as something completely different. So we can have a listen here. No, we can't. Why can't I hear that? Oh, plugged into the wrong thing. There we go. So I was just messing around with the basic tone. I was going to do something weird with it. Plugged it into a pitch shifter. And yeah, we got this droney sound. Cool, the default pitch shifter went down, uh, which was not expected, but whatever. Sometimes you get fun experiments. So that's this pitch shifter here, running it through some filters. You can get some cool harmonics if you open it up. So I reckon there's some experiments we had modulating that. I reckon you'd get some fun sounds, but for now, that's the sound we've got. Then I threw an ARP on top of it, because that's what I always do. So a few new things going on here. This here is the basic ARP sound going through reverb. You can hear I put a little bit of noise in there, just to gritty it up a little. Then first effect is the Erica Fusion Delay over here, which I've never used before. I just discovered it randomly looking for delays and it sounds cool. Have a listen. So it's not really providing a traditional delay effect, at least in the sense that I think about them, but it's just some cool texture. Uh, one cool bit here. That sound there, I'm modulating just randomly this input just to get a bit of subtle amount of that in there. I just love that sound. Uh, I use it in lots of things. So that's the fusion delay and then we get a bit of sparkle. There in the high end. So that we randomly with the sample and hold send some of that dry signal into a delay which then goes into a pitch shifter this time we're pitching up and that gives us that sparkle kind of a cool effect all together sounds like this and i slapped a lead on top of it just to have some fun Anyway, that's patch of the day. Hope you had fun. See you next time.